friends let me out of my box to talk about crafting and cards, the universe and everything. As we meet at this seemingly random place in space and time, you're probably wondering, what do I do with all these duplicates? That's where the aforementioned crafting comes in. Let's get started. Pop into my cards and hit crafting. Here you'll see you can have up to six cards crafting at any one time. And the first slot is always a freebie. You will have to use coins or generators to open the other ones, but don't worry about that, we'll talk about that later. Right, hit freebie slot, let's get started. Now you can always use the autofill button and let the game do it for you, but no. I'm too picky for that, not a, not a chance. Let's do it ourselves. I like to sort my cards before I get started, so I hit standard cards because I saved my fusions for fusing, and then I'm going to just hit common. And then I'm just going to throw nine of them in there, easy peasy. Let's craft. Please keep in mind that crafting does destroy any cards you put in there, so if there's anything you're collecting or you want to keep, do not put them in the crafter. However, if you make a mistake or regret all your decisions, you can always cancel it and you'll get the cards back. Now we've done easy mode, let's go on some useful hints and tips. A couple of things to keep in your head every time you craft. You need seven of the same rarity and two commons to put in this filler. If you do this, you'll always get the rarity above what you've put in. So for example, if I throw seven rares and two commons in, I'll get a basic epic. Nice. The difference comes when I put seven legendaries in and two commons. Then I'm going to get a random limited card. I was very lucky with this one here. It's not always like that, please don't hope for this every time. Next up is albums and collections. If you throw in seven cards from one album, that's the album you're going to get back. And the same goes for collections. So if I throw in all dogs cards, I'm going to get a dogs card back. Woof. You can absolutely use fusion cards for crafting. I just don't do it because I want to save them for fusing, but it's up to you. You can definitely use them. And sometimes you even get a fusion card back. Fabulous. And just as a warning, if you throw a whole load of junk in, different rarities, different albums, different collections, you're just going to get a basic rare back and you're going to have to like it. Tough luck. That's what you get for making a mess. It's also worth repeating that you cannot craft with limited cards. But don't worry, we are looking into something to do with your limited duplicates. I'm just not allowed to talk about it yet, but trust me, it's really cool. Right, now on to timers. As I said, you'll always get a freebie and that'll run at normal speed. But if you're a bit impatient, that's where generators come in. You're probably picking some of these up already, maybe through your weekly quests, or maybe you've bought a couple in some specific packs. So you've probably got a few by now. These are really handy if you want to burn through a whole load of crafting cards at once. These come in four flavours. Basic, fast, super fast, and instant. Thankfully, I've got a couple of fasts here and I've even got a couple of instants. I like to save my instants for if I've got seven legendaries or if I'm doing a special crafted card. We'll talk about those special crafted cards in another video. But as always, it's up to you. Playing your way is the joy of you. Now, these are going to take a bit of time to cook, so I'm going to get a couple of games in and maybe even go outside and pretend I'm human. Happy crafting and keep it cute.